Hey guys and welcome back to Travel Trolley. Today we will count down our picks for the top 10 attractions in Tenerife. But before that make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified of our latest videos. In this list we are looking at an island in Spain that is known for its spectacular beaches and diverse cultures. Starting off the list at number 10 is the Basilica of Candelaria. The Basilica of Candelaria, also known as the Basilica of the Royal Marianne Shrine of Our Lady of Candelaria, is located on the south coast of Tenerife and is one of the most important Catholic churches in the archipelago. It houses the Virgin of Candelaria, the Canary Islands patron saint, in a small and lovely fishing village. It crowns a giant plaza notable for being the entry point to the basilica and for the dozens of statues erected at the door, in honor of Tenerife's pre-Hispanic inhabitants. It's a great place to spend leisurely days getting lost in Candelaria's narrow alleys, sampling tasty food in one of its many eateries and discovering the small elements that make Tenerife a unique island. In addition to the Guanche sculptures and the popular plaza at the foot of the basilica, we may find a reasonably rich region with a continuously changing spot where restaurants, stores, cafes and terraces come together to make a commercial mosaic. There's also Candelaria Beach nearby which is generally visited by locals. Next at number 9 is the Playa de las Americas. Playa de las Americas, located on the southern shore of Tenerife, is widely known as the island's party center. This colorful and lively tourist hotspot is known for its non-stop celebrations, attracting thousands of partygoers each year and making it one of Europe's most visited cities. Playa de las Americas captivates young people because of its hedonistic allure, especially the one-kilometer area known as Veronica's, which is home to numerous bars, restaurants, and boutiques. You may expect neon signs, loud music blasting out on open storefronts, and people dancing in the streets. Every night, it truly comes to life. It is also an excellent place for families to spend the day sightseeing because there is so much to do there that the kids won't get bored. Tourists flock to this destination for its lively atmosphere, beautiful beaches, and soothing seas. Also, guests can do jet skiing, scuba diving, and windsurfing, or go on a whale and dolphin watching cruise a pirate ship adventure, or a trip to the ocean floor in a golden submarine. Next in line at number 8 is the Anaga Rural Park. Anaga is a mountain highland with steep cliffs and deep canyons, carpeted with laurel trees and populated with lovely hamlets. This is less than an hour from La Laguna and Santa Cruz, the island's capital. Exploring Anaga is a voyage to a region with an authentic rural flavor, a journey back in time to a time when humans had a much better relationship with their natural surroundings. A trip through this vast rural park would be incomplete without a stop at the visitor center in Cruz del Carmen on the TF1 road. Then take a walk along the Vueltas de Taganana pathway to admire the thick laurel woodland and Taganana, a historic village. But nothing beats a dip in the sea and a dish of fresh fish at Benijo Beach to unwind. Those looking to spend the night can stay in the park's official hostel, Montes de Anaga. Or you can choose from many rural hotels or bed and breakfast nearby. Coming in at number 7 is Lago Martianes. Lago Martianes is a leisure area in Puerto de la Cruz. Tenerife's southernmost town. Its features include a big artificial lake surrounded by green pools, manicured gardens, terraces and restaurants, as well as unrivaled views of the Mediterranean and Mount Tede Caesar Manrique, a prominent local artist from Lanzarote, built the park in the mid-1970s, including aspects of traditional Canarian architecture and native flora. Lago Martianes, a place of cultural interest under the historic garden category, provides amusement for people of all ages. Four adult and three children pools are surrounded by sunbathing areas with sunbeds and parasols. The complex features several terraces, kiosks, restaurants, and a casino, all of which are ideal complements to a day of sun and sea. Next at number 6 is Los Gigantes. The entire east coast of Tenerife is one enormous cliff. It's called Los Gigantes, and it's well worth the detour. Acantilados undoubtedly have the finest point of view. It's a little more challenging to find because it's at a dead end, and you must travel through the entire town, which has a rather complicated street pattern. Acantilados is where most tourist boats begin their journey along the rocky beaches. It's a wonderfully fascinating place with plenty of marine life, such as dolphins and whales. You can even take a boat tour to see them, go deep sea fishing or book scuba diving jet skis and kayaks from the marina. Los Gigantes has only one small black sand beach but it is clean, well kept, safe for children and rarely crowded. Despite its tiny size, there are numerous good restaurants and bars. Of course it has a range of eateries including Canarian, Chinese, Indian, Italian and tapas bars and karaoke. 
entertainment lounge, and music bars. Visit Playa de los Gigantes if you're seeking a magnificent beach that will take your breath away. Before we continue with the list, please subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps us to bring you more content. And please don't forget to turn on the notification icon so you won't miss out on our other great videos. Let's continue with number 5, Loro Park. Loro Parque is home to the Canary Islands' unique killer whale performance. Its renowned orca display, located in Puerto de la Cruz in the north of Tenerife, must be seen to be believed. Killer whales dance to the music and dive around a large transparent tank, revealing all their underwater gymnastics. The jumps and antics are so impressive that the front row fans are frequently sprayed with water. It is an essential aspect of every visit to the park. Loro Parque is also famed around the world for its outstanding collection of exotic birds, which includes over 300 kinds of parrots. Its mission is to rescue and conserve endangered wildlife, which is why the park is home to the world's largest penguinarium, which houses over 250 penguins. It also contains an aquarium where visitors can see sharks, rays, and fish swimming among coral reefs. Visitors can witness gorillas, tigers, and even anteaters in the park's massive enclosure. The zoo's efforts earned its deserving 2008 Animal Embassy Award for Responsible and Sustainable Management. Next at number 4 is Cueva del Viento. Whether you enjoy caving or not, Cueva del Viento is one of those sites that you simply cannot pass up. Whether it's because of the adrenaline rush or descending underground, or just because you're visiting one of nature's extraordinary oddities, Tenerife's caverns deserve to be seen. It's no surprise given that the cavity's interior is a maze-like system of passages dug by lava flows millions of years ago. As a result, visiting the Cueva del Viento is one of the top things to do in Tenerife. Although there are no official records of the caves before the 17th century, the ancient Guanches, the Canary Islands, indigenous people, have substantial knowledge of it. Experts discovered so much geological treasure that in the 1990s, reconditioning work began so that a portion of the volcanic tunnel could be toured. Visiting Cueva del Viento allows us to better comprehend the role of lava flows and to marvel at the quirky designs formed by lava deep inside the earth. Coming in at number 3 on the list is the Masca. A trip to the hamlet of Masca is a must if you want to discover rural Tenerife away from the tourist resorts. Masca is in Teno, a region known for its unique, wild, natural beauty in the island's northwest. It delights visitors with its beautifully maintained houses and cobbled streets, perfect examples of Tenerife's rural architecture. Many homes have been renovated into small hostels and hotels where you can completely disconnect from the city's stress and relax. Tourists who visit Masca usually look for more than just the sun and sea. This hamlet has craft shops, bars and restaurants and has been designated as Ethnographic Historical Place of Interest, as evidenced by the Masca Ethnographic Museum. The impressive display of canyons and sweeping hillsides is another one of its attractions, and the hike down the Masca Valley is one of the most famous on the island. Next at number 2 on the list is CM Park. If you want your thrills and chills wet, you must head to this thigh-themed water park with dozens of scream-inducing rides and slides that have a massive wave pool, a golden sand beach, and a mini aquatic park designed for kids. It has been named one of the finest water parks in the world. The park has numerous fun water challenges for families with teenagers. CM Beach offers the world's tallest manufactured waves with a 3-meter high wave ideal for learning to surf. The Tower of Power stands 23 meters tall and is a nearly vertical slide that plunges into the depths of a shark tank. With its waterfalls, bridges, and slides, and ruined cities lost stronghold is excellent for youthful adventures. And now the number one on the list is TDA National Park. TDA National Park, located at the center of Tenerife, is the biggest and oldest of the Canary Islands' four national parks. Its main attraction is Mount Teide, which rises 3,718 meters above the little island of Tenerife, making it Spain's tallest peak. Onlookers are constantly delighted by its changing appearance. At its foot is the sea of volcanic rocks that originated so recently that erosion hasn't worn them away. They provide a diverse inventory of volcanic forms and materials housed in the Lost Canada's encarpment. In the National Park, you can hike Mount Tede. Not every day do you have the opportunity to walk on an active volcano, so if you're visiting the Canary Islands, make sure to visit Mount Tede in Tenerife. You can also ride a cable car up the mountain for a beautiful park view or participate in some exciting activities, such as stargazing and paragliding. Do you agree with our picks? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely watch this next trending destination. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.